It's been a lot this year for the A passengers family, and over the last few months, we've heard from associated family members about the toll all of this has had on everyone. And now more information is coming out about the status of certain relationships, as well as a desire for the state to take action to prevent situations similar to this from happening in the future, or at least making life coaching a more regulated practice. But I'll start by saying that news was released last night that Kevin Frankie has now filed for divorce from his wife, Ruby, who, as we have talked about, was arrested back in August of this year. He filed on November 29th in Utah, and the petition for divorce is private. Law and Crime Network did share this one document with the public that does state the filing date and informs both parties involved of how they should proceed. This news isn't the biggest surprise to the public given everything that has come out about this family in the last few months and the information of Kevin and Ruby having already lived separately for about a year now. But as this case continues, Kevin's actions are surely under the microscope and it does seem like he is trying to detach himself in any way from Ruby as he is currently trying to fight for custody of their children right now. And one can only hope that he genuinely does want to detach from her entirely given all that been brought to light and not just to appear detached. His daughter Sherry has had eyes on her since the arrest given that she was not in communication with her parents anymore at the time and she had talked about not supporting connections and both her parents following in the teachings of that group. People were very much looking at Sherry thinking if she's not talking to her father since all of this has happened, there's got to be a reason why. So when she was recently seen walking into court with her father, I think people really want to hope that Kevin has sort of maybe changed his mindset. I mean, it's a little hard to fully believe given that he was trying to get Sherry arrested not too long prior to this, accusing her of robbery. But one can hope for the sake of all the children in this family that him and his lawyer aren't full of BS in what they're saying when they claim that he wants his family back together and is trying to repair relationships. Now, I will say that as a result of everything that's happened with Ruby and her connections partner, Jody Hildebrandt, it's now been reported that a lawmaker in Utah believes that the state needs to do a better job overseeing life coaches. And this sudden realization for this need was as a result of Kevin Frankie going directly to a senator to try and push this to happen. And I know that everyone is still really skeptical of Kevin, obviously, as they they should be because he was a part of the connections group at one point and him and Ruby both displayed their harsh parenting tactics on their YouTube channel together. So people are just wondering how much he knew about things that were going on in Ruby's home or Jody's after he moved out. Obviously his lawyer has come out to say that he had no contact with his children and was completely unaware of everything that was going on with Jody and Ruby and how they were treating their children. And we can only hope that he had no part in any of that and also has sort of changed his ways of parenting. Obviously, we don't know what he's saying in the courtroom as the custody case is private, so we don't really know what he might be saying against Ruby in court or what he might be saying about himself or, you know, any sort of changes that he's made or realizations that he's had about these beliefs that he once did believe in. But clearly, something has sparked in him now to want there to be changes in Utah for people who are giving advice to families. Senator David Hinkins told 2K TV news that Kevin Brinke had reached out and asked what the qualifications were to be a life coach in Utah, and there are actually no qualifications needed at all to be a life coach. Apparently, the senator had not even heard about the Ruby and Jody case until this point, but Kevin had expressed how important a need for something like this is for someone to have qualifications for these teachings to be regulated. And he had said that his marriage was ripped apart due to made up teachings. Senator Hinkins has said that he is now in the beginning stages of drafting a bill that he plans on working with Utah Division of Professional Licensing and hopefully prevent people with zero qualifications to give themselves self-made titles because on the Connections website that I honestly still can't believe is still up and running and I really freaking hope that they are not taking on new clients because yes, Ruby Frankie has been arrested and so is Jody, but there is that third member of Connections that we didn't really know about until recently. And I imagine they're taking on new clients or they're still interacting with people that they were in communication with before. I mean, it would just absolutely be the most insane thing ever if they were still 
someone doing business. I mean, it's just scary at that point. We know that the YouTube channel for the eight passengers and connections that YouTube channel has been removed from the platform, but I don't really know what the update is on their website. And if the videos that they had on there and the things that they were offering for people to purchase and have access to are still available on there. It is scary that when all this was happening in August after the arrest, people were out there defending Ruby and Jody because the people that they have as clients have been severely brainwashed and manipulated to a point where, you know, they don't think that they did anything bad, which is the scariest thing ever, but they might still be a loyal follower of connections and be subscribed to those website teachings that they have and if they have like an archive video library on the website, but that needs to go away. Like the website needs to be shut down if this is the case. And I mean, it's just insane that on the website, Ruby is listed as a certified mental fitness trainer, which is literally just a made up title because that's not true at all. She has no qualifications whatsoever to be giving anyone advice at all. This is not something that she was ever certified for. And I'm sure this is just something that Jody certified her of and made her feel like she was worthy of this title. I mean, it's just crazy. But obviously having a license doesn't stop you from being a bad person either, as we've seen with Jody. But I do think that this would be a step in the right direction if there was some sort of bill passed to save a lot of people from those who just want to make up stuff and try and say that they're qualified enough to be listened to. And hopefully there could be some sort of regulations for the teachings and advice itself because Jody and Ruby were truly just saying and doing whatever they wanted and it's really hurt people, including their own family. When it comes to Jody, she became a licensed mental health counselor in Utah in 2003, acquiring her associate clinical mental health counselor license in May of that year, according to the Utah Division of Professional Licensing. She was later licensed as a clinical mental health counselor in 2005, and she did find herself in trouble in 2012 as she was disciplined by the state regulators for discussing a patient's private information without their permission. And she ended up on an 18 month probation. Over the years, she's received a large number of negative reviews from families feeling as though she tried to ruin their marriage and turn family members against each other. And even more stories like this were coming out following the arrest. A former client, Trey Warner, had come out to discuss his experience as a client of Jody's and talked about how he was growing suspicious of her teachings as he attended support group sessions. And in an interview with 2KUTV, Warner claimed Hildebrand would use shaming tactics to turn husbands and wives against each other, adding that she would convince men that impure thoughts made them dangerous to their families. According to Warner, there was a man that had a successful business that believed he was a danger to his wife and his family because he did a double take. Like if he saw a beautiful woman and he would see and look again, this guy got his own apartment and separated his family because he was a danger. He went on to say that husbands would separate from their wives for so long, sometimes they would contemplate taking their own lives. And this is something that truly sticks out to me because Jody seemed to have this sort of obsession with separating partners and families. I mean, the fact that Ruby and Kevin were separated for over a year living apart because Jody had suggested it, it's just showing a pattern of her teachings. And I just don't understand what kind of evil is within her that she enjoys separating families like this. It's sad though, because despite there having been tons of negative reviews of Jody on Google, there were still those who were desperate enough to look past the reviews and just seek out any sort of help that they could find. And it's people like that who especially need to be protected from life coaches who will take advantage of those in a vulnerable state. Cause it just really seems like Jody's whole goal was to manipulate those who sought out help and she just took advantage of people who wanted a better life for themselves. Since the arrest, Jody did agree to surrender her license and she can't practice even if she is released, which hopefully she isn't because these two women deserve to stay locked up after all that they've done. But I do think that having some rules set in place and that the fact that this bill is getting drafted is pretty big and the fact that it's coming at the hands of Kevin Frankie going to a senator and wanting this to happen certainly interesting. But as of right now, that is what has come out about this case and what has happened since the arrest. If anything else comes out, I will let you guys know. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.